Good morning DVG fam. So guys, we've never actually done a morning routine on holiday before, but on this holiday we actually got into like a really good routine of doing pretty much the same thing each day. So we thought it would make an interesting video just to show you what our morning routine looks like. Today is the last day of our holiday, which is really sad because it's gone way too quick. And so we are actually packing up to leave. So the time right now is nine o'clock in the morning. Me and Maddie got up about 7 a.m. We've already been out for a walk. She's had her morning milk and the others are just starting to wake up now. Chloe's still asleep, but let's see who is awake. <laughs> Maddie Moose is awake. What's up with you? What's up? So we have a joining room with Sophie and Grace. Good morning, Grace. She doesn't want me to show her because she's, I think she looks beautiful, but she thinks she looks rough. And good morning, Sophie. Good morning, mum. So Casey and Chloe share a different room, but last night Chloe slept in our room, which is the first time she's done that since we've been on holiday. So Casey's still asleep, but she'll start vlogging once she wakes up. So one of the things that me and Sophie have been doing is I've been teaching Sophie how to make a cup of tea. So she's been making a cup of tea every morning. Right, is it this, is it this tea bag or this? Oh, it's this one. Did I get it wrong? I thought it was this. No, it's this one, isn't it? Okay, fine. And do we make it in this? <laughs> oh, what in there? Okay, fine. <laughs> Are we making two? One for me, one for you? No, look. Okay. Right, so what do we do first? No, what no, do we no, do no. first? Oh. Tea bag? Oh, I'll show you. Go on then, you show me. Uh, Whoa, oh, you've just flicked the tea bag. <laughs> you've just flicked the tea bag out. Oh God, you're so funny. Oh, look, she has to show you how she does it, ready? Where does the string go? Perfect. Well done, and then should we do the other one? The reason that me and Sarah love teaching Sophie things like this is because it's kind of teaching her about independent living because that's going to be one of the things that she really needs to learn as she grows older. So it's just little things like making a cup of tea or getting herself dressed or just little tiny things that we can teach her which will help her make that step into independent living. Every time we come on a holiday, it just seems that Sophie's development kind of goes on leaps and bounds as opposed to when we're at home. So that's one of the reasons that we love to travel as well because she just seems to become that little bit more independent each time. And things like learning this is, seems like a small thing, but for us it's a huge deal because our main goal for Sophie as she grows older is to live independently. How do you, how do you open this? Okay, I'm gonna come and help you. <laughs> so learning how to make a cup of tea Seems like a small thing, but to us it's like a huge deal. Have you put the sugar in? Yeah. Well done. That's amazing. Right, should I put the hot water in first? Uh. Yeah. 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 Stand back. Okay, stand back. Remember, it's hot. We haven't quite got to the point where she's pouring her own hot water. Oh, okay. Um, nope. That's, oh. That's not how you do it, is it? No. Is that right? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> so let's put a bit of milk in there. And then let's, well, don't worry, Daddy can fix it, okay? Oh, yeah, I think I'm distracting. Can I, fix anything, yeah. I think I'm distracting you because I was filming today. Sorry, so. Okay, we don't need any more milk. What we need is a good stir. Let here you go. It's all done. Cheers. Mmm, is it good? Oh no, we didn't make Grace one. Oh no. Oh dear. That's oh, alright. She can make her own. <laughs> Sophie, what's the last thing we need to do? What? What? <laughs> you have to clean. Me? <laughs> yes. No, both of us. Okay? We always have to clean up after ourselves, don't we? Good girl. Her or you, because I'd love for you to live independently. Clean up after yourself. Oh, I don't want to hear that nonsense. I look after myself. Well, sort of. <laughs> She's trying to put her shoe on you. <laughs> She's trying to put her shoe on you. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning. 
Chloe. Bye bye. Good morning, Chloe. I don't know why, is there a Snickers in Oh, Maddie's trying to give it to her. Is Maddie trying to give you a Snickers this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you get Maddie dressed? Part of routine. <laughs> Come on then. Come on then, you. Come here, you. It's time to get changed. It's time to get changed. Done. It is time to brush our teeth. So everyone is brushing their teeth. Yeah, you're brushing your teeth nice and clean. Mommy, yeah. don't do it. Is it a bit spicy that one? Yeah. We don't have your kids yeah. one, do we? It's a bit spicy. Why did you leave this stank, stinky nappy on the floor and all the wipes? How do you know I did? Because mummy. Oh no. Did I leave it on the floor? Is mummy cross? I was just about to clean that stuff up. Yeah, I sure you was. Yeah, I was. Oh, because you did it about 20 minutes ago. And then I ran in here to do something and then I was coming straight back out. No. You didn't give me a chance. You have a chance to do it. Give me a chance at independent living, Sarah. Come on. Casey is up and awake. Yeah, for once. I'm feeling fresh. I thought you would have slept in. Well, I was like, oh, I'll go for breakfast because it's like the last day or whatever. What happened? And then I just kept waking up. I woke up at like... Five and then I woke up at seven, really? eight, and then I woke up at nine. And I was like, oh, okay, that's a good time to wake up now. Oh, and did you miss Chloe not being in your room last night? No, it was actually really nice. <laughs> okay, well, slow down, guys. All right, Maddie, you gonna go breakfast? You gonna go breakfast now? Yeah. Good morning, guys. I'm finally dressed. Um, so obviously we're leaving today. So part of the routine that isn't normally routine I was just um, packing up and sorting out some of the suitcases so now we're going for breakfast it's like um, all you can eat like all you can chew you know it's like a buffet style so there's always so many things to choose from and there's always like a guy that's cooking something fresh whether it's like omelettes or crepes or something so guys the hotel that we're staying at is called the Rixos Premium Seagate Hotel in Egypt and just to let you guys know it has been gifted to us it's always good for us to let you guys know that if something has been gifted but I honestly can't rate this hotel well enough. It has been the best experience. This hotel, like the service, the food, everything's been incredible. Definitely recommend it. 10 out of 10 from us. We've had the best, best family holiday. And I'm so sad that we are leaving today. What's that? Our area is gone. There's like a little kid's area, so you can have an adult table and the kid's table next to it and it's full. Yeah. They didn't realise that that's our space, right? Yeah, like, Should we go and tell them to move? We've been there every day, like <laughs> a whole week we've been there every day and today's the one day we can't go there. Sad times. Crip, the fin pancake. Or do you want a donut? Donut. Donut. So they make fresh donuts here every single day. Would you like a plain donut that you make yourself? Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, nearly lost it then. Okay, look here. Do you want white chocolate? Normal chocolate or strawberry? No. Otherwise, these would stick to it. You kind of need to put something on so it sticks to it. So put chocolate on. What? White chocolate. First time doing it? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's enough. Yeah, I'm just spreading it around. Chocolate. Right, Sophie, what did you get? Oh, chocolate waffles. What did you get? Nice. And what did Maddie get? Well, Maddie's sharing with me my waffle, my croissant, and she's got a yogurt, and I'm going to get some fruits. Nice. A bit of a mixture. This is the best hotel buffet I've ever been to in my life. It literally has everything. There's all fresh pastries. 
there's this chef over here who will cook you any kind of eggs that you like. And then you obviously you've got like all the normal kind of scrambled eggs and bacon and stuff like that. Another guy cooking fresh omelets and stuff. All this food, waffles, they've got pancakes. They literally have everything that you could imagine in this buffet. Okay, so what did you go for? Um, I've got waffle and little uh, mini pancake with Nutella and then French toast with syrup and then a fruit bowl. And Maddie, what are you eating? Maddie's got some chocolate cereal, some yogurt. Is that nice? <laughs> I got uh, scrambled eggs, hash brown, French toast, and beef bacon. Sophie, what did you get? Awesome. Chloe, are you happy or sad to go home? Because it's Easter. Me, we're going to see my brother and we're going to find the Easter egg. Nice. Backyard. In our backyard. backyard. You've been watching too much YouTube. Yeah, we can do an Easter egg hunt when we get home. Can we? Hey. Oh. Hey. Can we? What do you mean, can we? Hey. Are you going to go out on the hunt for Easter eggs? Hey. On the day before Easter? Hey. Oh, you mean from the shop? I was just going to hide the Easter eggs they've already got. Did you know that I already got loads of an Easter egg hunt? No. <laughs> well done, Sarah. Hi, Dada. Yeah, thank you. Hi, Dada. Hi, Dada. Say hi, Dada. Say, 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 say hi, Dada. Say, 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 say hi, Mama. Madison. This has literally been Madison all holiday. Well, Trying to escape and me chasing after her. Come on. We're going kids club. Come on. Maybe she's obsessed. Where's the elephant? Elephant! Manny is going to be due a nap very soon. Just take them to go play in the little kids' club. You actually can leave your kids in the kids' club, but um, me being me, I just don't. So I'll always bring them into the little play. Caterpillar! Kids club is really good, there's loads of different areas. So you've got this area in here, you've got an actual cinema in here where they can come and watch movies, there's movies playing all day. I'll just show you. Little cinema area. You've got a, like a zero to three years baby room. Hello? Yeah, she's trying to escape. You can't escape. Always trying to escape, aren't you? Go. Whoa. I can't film this because some people's kids, but it's so cute. They're actually doing a kids yoga class literally to the side of me right here. So all the kids got their mats out and the yoga instructor and uh, it's so, so cute. So yeah, this is the outside area. There's a playground, there's a splash, there's a splash bowl. There's all of this playground. There's a little swimming pool over there and then there's a little football field over on the other side of that. So there's literally so much for the kids to do here. And like Sarah said, Sarah won't leave the kids in the kids club. She just, she just never will. It's not what she does. But the great thing about this one is the fact that we can come in here, still get used to it, because we stay with the kids and do it. So that's what's nice about this kids club. You won't fit in there. No way. I don't, I don't believe it. What? Hi, oh my goodness. I can't believe you fit in there. You can stand up. Oh yeah, so is it a bit of a squeeze? Oh, she's pushing you in. Does it push her in? Oh, she shut you in there. Whoa. You're a bit big for that one, aren't you? Go on, Maddie will help you. She's going to push you in. Nope. Or oh, she's going to push past you this time. She's not waiting around. She's not waiting for you this time. Okay, go Maddie! Whoa! <laughs> You're like Alice in Wonderland when she gets all big. Shimmy first. Shimmy, ready? Shimmy. Why are you no shimmy, Jimmy? Maddie! Shimmy! Quick, she's gonna come again. Come on, quick. Go, go before Maddie comes. One more bump. One more bump with your bump. Yes. Yes, you're in. Right, get out of here. You did it! 
Oh no, here we go. Here we go. She can't get out. Oh, Maddie, push her. That's it. Everyone's invaded my room. But I packed all my clothes, but I'm pretty sure it's all getting thrown back out. Why does it look like Maisie's packed your suitcase for you? Why does it look like that? Because Maisie's packed your suitcase for you. No, she's not. She just put my revision cards in. So you're pretending you've packed, but you've got Maisie's hat. What the hell? What is going on? That's it. I packed my own suitcase, thanks. So it's 11.30 a.m., which means it's time for Maddie Moo's nap. And as you can see, she's looking very tired. Are you tired? Yeah? Shh, shh. Right, go to sleep. Uh. Chloe, what are you doing? I'm brushing her glasses. You're cleaning Sophie's glasses. That's so kind. I don't think you should use that though. Just use this. Oh, it's for your shoes. Yeah, that's not. I don't think you should use that because it might scratch them. You can use this though. It's for your shoes. That's it. Oh, okay. uh, just the Is that okay? Can you see? Normally, Maddie goes straight to sleep. For some reason, today she's not. So, Sarah is giving her a cuddle in there, trying to get her to sleep. Yeah. And then we can crack on with the rest of our day. Go to sleep, well done. Well done, you. So I just managed to get her to sleep. Normally she just goes down really well, but today for some reason she didn't. I think it's like we're a little bit behind schedule what we normally would do. Like she normally in, in her nap between like half 10 and 11, it's half 11, so maybe she's like overtired. So she actually had to fall asleep on me and then I transferred her to her bed, which is unlike her, but it was actually really cute. So me and Casey and Grace are gonna go to the gym. They have an indoor gym and an outdoor gym and a gym on the beach. So today we're gonna go on the gym on the beach. It's pretty cool. It's nice, um, it's a bit of a breeze outside, so it's nice to work outside. So we're gonna do that. Joel is gonna take Sophie and Chloe along the beach and there's loads of fish and things they can see, which Chloe really likes to do, so they're gonna go do that. And Macy will stay with the baby. Hello, down here. And then we'll all meet back for lunch. Hey. I feel so gutted that we're going home today. It feels like this holiday's gone so I know. quick. Although I, I just FaceTimed my mom and she's like, it feels like you've been gone forever. I'm like, it's been a week, mom. She's like, I miss you all so much. And then Maddie went, hi, your nan. And she went, hi, Chloe. I went, that was Maddie. She went, no, it wasn't. It was I feel good. like I could have stayed here another week. Yeah. Like, we definitely I feel like we just got into the rhythm of things. Just kind of like, you know, once you've yeah. discovered all the different things to do and then you start doing them. I just love walking around this hotel. It's just every part of it is beautiful. So this is the beach here. So on this board, you've got the exclusive sports club and it tells you all the different things that they do. They do yoga, crossfit, like literally so many different things that they do. And I'll show you where they do some of the classes. Literally here. This is like something out of the movie. Sorry if it's a bit windy, guys. But yeah, they literally do like classes here, literally on the beach. And then this is one of the outdoor gyms. There's two outdoor gyms. But yeah, this is one of them. Do you know what I find myself doing all the time, which I think is a good thing, is I'll look at Casey, then I'll look at Maddie, and it just makes me think how quickly it goes, like how quickly they grow up is just mad. So for me, traveling and making these memories is just one of the most important things that I can do with my family. And I also love the fact that we vlog. Like, yes, we do YouTube for a living, but I love the fact that we have all these memories that are gonna be banked forever that we can go back and watch. But I know when I'm older and the kids are growing up and I watch these vlogs back, I know I'm just gonna cry my eyes out. So it's gonna be like bittersweet. You're not allowed in there. Did they tell you to get out? Is it because you don't have big muscles? You have to show them you've got big muscles and he might let you in. Look, go on, show them those. Look at those muscles though. Oh, he said you got, he said when you're a little bit older you can come in, okay? Look, there's a bus. Look, I can reach that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so Casey is on this one first. You gotta put a rock in it. That's it, once your feet are solid, I think it's easier to get you. Well done. 
out. I'm very advantage, the string came off. Go. Oh, we should have a little swing as well, look. Swing, don't, don't sabotage. I'm feeling sabotage. Oh, How are you feeling? Good. Are you giving up soon? Go. Oh, game face is on. <laughs> Why would you talk? <laughs> She's got a game piece on. Go on, Mom, keep going. Oh. Okay, Grace is gonna do some squats. I've got another idea. Yeah, go on. It's at the gym. Dad thinks we're at the gym, so he's gonna give us a good like 45 minutes. The baby's napping. Should we just sit in the sun with a drink? Yeah. yeah. But we'll pretend that we so me, Sophie and Chloe are going to head down the jetty to see the coral reef. Uh, you can basically go snorkeling, they've got their own private jetty that goes right out to the sea. Oh no, the jetty's shut. Oh, it's not open yet. Basically there's this jetty which is about a mile long, which means that you can head out further to be able to go and swim in the coral reef. And this is like private to the hotel. And then here is all the different fishes that you can see out there. And the stingrays. <gasps> and a shark. I mean, we haven't seen any sharks, so I wouldn't be worried about that. As that is closed, we're going to head to the pool instead, which I know Sophie's happy about because that's literally yeah, all that's she wants to do. Idea. That was your idea as well. But yeah, all Sophie wants to do on holiday is just live in the pool all the time. So, me, Sophie, and Chloe are going to jump in the pool for a bit, so we will catch up with you when we get out of the pool. Ready, Sophie? Jump in. Good job. Where's Chloe? We are out the pool and we are hoping that Casey, Grace and Mum are finished with their workout so that we can all get some lunch. This ice cream is for free because Mummy, because I had no wallet and then I didn't stop, I had ice cream and Mummy didn't Come with me. So Chloe hasn't quite grasped the concept of an all-inclusive. <laughs> so she's like, I didn't have a wallet. It was for free. I didn't steal it. Okay, you want to get some ice cream? Yeah, it's for free. Okay, you sure? Because I don't have my wallet with me. It's yes. Okay. Please give me chocolate ice cream in the cone, please. There you go, Sophie Zos. It's for free, see? I told you. You were right. It was free. Oh, dear. I have found them. No, I found them. They're not working out. Oh, hard workout, is it? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. We worked out and we just. Did you it. actually? Yes, you got it about two minutes ago. Two minutes ago, really? Yeah. And uh, Chloe told me about the free ice cream. Yeah. And you don't need a wallet and it's not stealing, it's yeah. just free. It's amazing. Did you, did you get it yourself? Yeah. Go. So this is where we spent quite a few afternoons. Basically these private cabanas right in front of the beach and you can chill in here Chloe knows but there is a fridge with loads of drinks Lunch has arrived Just in time because I'm starving and by the way just so could, I also did do a little workout It isn't just the girls that work out Although that's the first workout I've done since I've been on this holiday 15 minutes how long did you do? 15 minutes well then, we both did a little workout. Thank you very much guys. You got, what you got? I got lettuce. Yeah, you got a chicken Caesar salad. Look who's here. Good afternoon, Maddie. Oh, she wants that. Yeah, she oh, she slept that on me. Like, oh her my goodness. Me. She's like so that. cuddly. Oh look, she just cannot cuddle into me enough. She's on a cuddle tour. Delicious. Mom, let's see. Oh, oh, she wants me. to give everyone the cuddles. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Hello, my bobs. Alright, we have arrived at the water park. 
at the water park. Crazy thing is, this water park is actually part of our hotel that we're staying at. This is literally the best hotel. Look at this! A vertical drop, little kids water slide section, and then they got some bigger water slides over there. Right, so Chloe is on camera duty. You got it, Chloe? Yes, that's so I would, I would just, yeah. No one get the toes in, all right? Toes! Are you ready? Go! So we're back from the water park. This video is supposed to be our morning routine. It's actually half five in the afternoon and we're still vlogging. So I'm gonna wrap it up there. We're going home today. So the next vlogs you see will be us back at home. But if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. We really, really appreciate it. And if you are coming to Egypt, we definitely recommend staying at the Rixos Premium Seagate. We've had the best time here. Anyway guys, we'll see you on the next video.